Hey guys, uh, we have here a homemade prototype of a brushless DC motor controller using Atmega164. Um, I was uh, curiously uh, led to this. Um, I've looked at uh, some of the hobby uh, motor controllers. They don't seem to have uh, control via uh, SPI uh, ports or uh, I2C. Uh, so I thought um, I'll make my own with uh, these options. Um, I've used 164 um, at Mega purely because it's got the um, extra port um, facilities available. So I'll just run you through some of the uh, sections uh, in the prototype for those who are um, working on uh, making your own brushless DC motor controllers or are curious about learning in this um, area. Uh, so here you have the uh, main uh, chip or the slave uh, controller. Then um, the, uh, you get six um, commutation outputs from their IOs from there. Uh, I am driving the uh, the high side um, uh, MOSFETs uh, with PWM. Uh, the low sides are not being driven by the um, PWM. So the the AND gate there handles the PWM driving for the high sides. Um, then I have the three high side low side drivers, the international rectifiers, um, I think it's 2101, uh, so they're them, and then you have the, um, the standard, you know, the uh, 40 amp um, MOSFETs IRZ, uh, I think I'm using the 34N here. Um, <coughs> Then uh, you have also the analog feedbacks uh, from the uh, motors. You have the back EMF being fed to the ADC of the um, motor controller. Uh, so you can uh, look at the back EMF and drive the commutation. Um, I've only implemented at this time the UART section, uh, control section, and the SPI uh, control mechanism. So. Uh, the slave controller is being driven by a master chip which is the 32-bit um, Atmel's UC3A0512. Um, the chip that you see next to it is the RTL um, Realtek uh, Ethernet chip. I was working on um, implementing TCP IP control um, in order to control the whole slave motor as well. <coughs> I've so far managed to implement Modbus on this and um, the standard ping. You can also see the um, UART um, of the slave controller. Uh, it, it's the RS232, which I'm not using at the moment. It's just sitting there. So the whole slave controller is being controlled by the uh, master chip. And the master chip is connected to the uh, SDK board um, right at the back. And the SDK board, I've got it hooked up to the, to the laptop. And um, I'll be controlling via the terminal. Uh, serial terminal. So let's run through uh, some of the commands. So I'll, it's a bit hard to focus here, but uh, just bear with me. So okay, so I can I have various commands um, being fed to the uh, or programmed into the um, a slave controller. I have uh, the anti. Uh, clockwise rotation, so I'll just type in A and there it goes, the motor starts anti-clockwise. Um, I've driven this um, motor up to about 80,000 um, RPM. Um, that was with a 14.7456 megahertz um, crystal running the, uh, the slave controller there. Uh, interesting thing I found that um, you can run the ADC to as low as, um, well, with a prescaler of 8, uh, running at that sort of frequency. But if I, if you up the frequency to um, about 18 megahertz, um, you can only run the ADC with a 16 prescaler, uh, uh, which slows the prescaler down a little bit. Um, and, and I noticed um, if you ran the the slave controller at that high frequency with well with 18 megahertz you can only um, go up to about 67 70,000 RPM uh, due to the fact that you have a slower um, ADC running uh, well processing the back EMF anyways at, at this time um, I will run it to a few thousand uh, RPMs just so, just so you can uh, you get a feel for it um, I have here I will 
run it up so you can see the RPM feedbacks um, being displayed to the uh, display I can already also report the current RPM so there's your current RPM there are about uh, 12,000 uh, and all this is of course coming from the master chip and the master chip is getting the reports from the slave chip and, and the control is being passed through SPI only and you can see the uh, SPI link straight from there to the slave so um, I will lower it down and I'm doing all this from my laptop keyboard which is next to the screen um, and then comes the stop command so that stops the button and I'll start the A uh, anti-clockwise up it again I don't want to run it very high you can see the, back, um, the motors you know, uh, moving from its position is very dangerous I've, um, if I don't hold on to it it basically lifts off the table so uh, that's it for today thanks for watching um, I, can, I will tell you that there was a lot of stuff to learn about brushless DC motor control doing this project and um, if you are planning to make your own um, you know you should really read up about the uh, subject before you um, delve into it um,